For the 20% where there's also a parenting, most of these parents are very poor. Many of them, not surprisingly, there's, it goes, it's the causal thing's not clear, but a lot of the parents are, uh, suffer from depression and from a great deal of stress and anxiety because if you're very poor, those things uh, weigh on you heavily. And then, and then if you're suffering from uh, depression or from uh, uh, an alcohol or drug problem, uh, it's also going to make it harder to get and hold a job, so you're going to be very poor. And that translates into much less attentive parenting, much less cognitive stimulation, much less helping the child with self-regulation. If you think about the fact that um, you want your child to explore and to be creative, you, you, you know, we think about a two-year-old teaching them to explore their environment and be creative and to problem solving the kinds of things that are thought about as good educational policy. If you yourself uh, are very depressed, and struggling to just barely get by on income and having to spend time running between welfare departments and whether you're gonna get your food stamps and do everything else, there's not a lot of time to focus on your kids' creativity. I mean, there's not a lot of time to focus on your kids. And uh, what we need is a system of, of, of services, not just individual little services, but a, a system that really works with the parents that helps with both the parenting, but also with the income needs that they have. Combine the two, give them incentives to get engaged in the parenting work. And in that system, I would have it involved with uh, having home visitors who come to the home, help support parents. Uh, and then uh, for, for families that are really struggling, you may need full day childcare from, eight, uh, from birth on that works with the parents. For others, you need programs like Early Head Start or really good, strong early preschool programs that also work with the parents as well as the child. Most of our preschool focuses only on the child. That works when the child, when the parents are functioning pretty well at home, the preschool can add to that, including the cognitive stuff that might be missing at home. But for the, for the parents that are really struggling to, to, <coughs> to work with the child, you need a lot of parent-child interaction.